Hello, and welcome to Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Tom McNamara. Fourth Avenue is one of the busiest districts in Tucson, but with the increase in student housing, all the new restaurants there, well, the amount of art galleries on the avenue has decreased a lot in recent years, and that's where And Gallery comes in. Now, it's located just south of 6th Street on 4th Avenue. The space is focused on comic art and zines and designer toys, collectibles, and art that's, uh, well, you could say off the beaten track. And today we're joined by gallery owner and operator Cynthia Noggle, who's here to tell us a little more about the gallery and an upcoming show. It's called Border Baroque with local artist Carlito Miller Espinosa. Cynthia, good to have you. Hey, thank you for having me. Tell us about the genesis of the gallery, how it came about, and you're a niche as well as a survivor now with all these other galleries gone yeah. that you are. <laughs> Tell us about the niche you're filling now on 4th Ave. So this was back in uh, 2018. I had just moved back to Tucson from Portland and I am a Tucson native, been here my whole life, um, but uh, lived in Portland, came back to Tucson. So I was uh, looking for, for a job for something. I was already making art and um, doing all that stuff. And I happened to come across this flyer during Tucson Comic Con that was and gallery. And it had a lineup of these artists that I knew. I was like, hey, these are my friends. This is cool. And it was um, very much branded in the way that the kind of art I do, kind of more on the um, street arts side. And also my husband is a comic book writer. So we're like, hey, this seems like something we're about. So we went and checked it out and uh, it was awesome. It was like the galleries we've seen in Portland, in New York, the kind of bigger cities. And um, I talked to the owner, Jonathan Wong, and I introduced myself and I've been doing marketing for years and event coordinating. And I could just see that he was stressed out. It was something that he hasn't done before. <laughs> and that's right. when I kind of pitched, I'm like, hey, you could hire me, I'm looking for a job. And this is what I do. I've done event coordinating, I've worked with artists, I'm also an artist and I could help you with this. And he was like, yes, please, let's go. <laughs> so I got hired hired on working for Eat Sleep Work, which mm -hmm. was the company that and gallery came from. And it's going very well, we understand. Now you're hosting local artists like Carlito. Tell us about his exhibit. So Carlito, I'm really excited about his show because it's very much in the and gallery style. It's a bit controversial. It's about um, culture. It's about all these other things. He uh, set a meeting with me and I was like, we had very much like minds. And I was like, this is perfect. So let's make it happen. Why is it so important to make contact and, and sort of collaborate with local artists with a gallery like yours? It, it's very important. It's the way uh, when people ask me how I come up with um, what a gallery looks like, what we're about. It's, um, I always say it's a mirror, like it's a mirror to our community. So it, our community is diverse, we're out there, <laughs> there's so many different parts of us. It's, a, it's um, this one common thing that I've heard a lot of people say about Tucson when they come into the gallery and kind of like describing it, they're like, oh, it's the Wild West, we're a little gritty, you know? <laughs> yeah. Like we're, we're here to like, um, we're not afraid to make things happen and be loud about it. And um, me personally, I'm the same way. So, so uh, collaborating with our uh, local creators is very important. And I do group shows that, uh, you know, have a wide range of different people that are part of it. And the solo shows are also very important as well. And just so people who are watching know your, your work, you cover a broad spectrum of art, broad price ranges mm -hmm. and broad experiences. Yeah, so it's like, um, a big thing that I've been uh, working on with Tucson is kind of uh, teaching Tucson that their art is worth it. Mm -hmm. And also uh, I'm learning a lot of things about the typical art galleries. Like, of course, all those art, art galleries are important. Like uh, we gotta have uh, these spaces and all that, but a lot of them haven't shown the type of art that we've done, whether it's like street art, designer toys, um, uh, comic book art, sequential art, all of that. And it's all valid too. <laughs> and that was something that like very much little by little Tucson's been learning. And um, we have our shows where we sell originals that are high priced. Mm -hmm. And there's those people that want that. Like I know I buy originals, but I also will buy prints personally too. So, and it's making art accessible for everyone. It's, um, so we sell prints, we sell stickers, we sell 
all different price items, different, and also showing artists there's different ways to monetize your artwork too. Like one of my favorite things that has been happening is uh, we get the kids from Tucson High coming in and buying art. Mm -hmm. Like I remember when I was that age, I love it, I love it. When I was that age, I was hunting down concert posters. (laughs) Right. (laughs) That was like my art that I would have up in my room. And, And that's cool, but it's like, I wish there was a space where I could go and buy some cool price work that I could afford, you know? And now you are that space and it's great. We're happy to know that things are going well. Thanks for joining us. We wish you all the best going forward. Thank you. And uh, if you'd like to see Carlito's exhibit and know more about that, uh, check out Ann Gallery. They're open daily, noon to 6 p.m. on 4th Avenue in Tucson, just south of 6th Street. The show Border Baroque with Carlito Miller Espinosa opens May the 6th and closes on the 29th. Poke your head in the gallery and and see what's happening. A lot of good things. Thanks for watching Spotlight on the Arts. I'm Tom McNamara, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you.